Yeah, well, I thought that was a terrific college basketball game, a, a terrific championship game. Um, a lot of credit to San Houston. I think it's a really talented group. Um, they present a lot of challenges. Uh, but I, I thought our kids were up to it. I felt really good when we woke up. I, I thought they were really good. Their preparation was fantastic, as it has been all year. And then we wanted to hang our hat on the defensive end. I just didn't know what we would have going offensively. Um, and that's typical game to game. Uh, we thought they would try to take away some some perimeter shots from the, some of those players on our group, but we wanted to win the paint. Um, I have no idea what the stats ended up being. I guess it doesn't even really matter, um, but I thought we did a really, really good job. I thought Ayana started off great. Ayana has been good now for a couple games, and, and a kid that loves these moments, so she's not going to back away um, from that. And then, yeah, we really thought the third and the fourth quarter, they had played the one additional game. We thought that we had maybe a little more depth than they do, so I thought maybe we could wear them out just a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, I thought we grinded away and made the big plays in the fourth quarter. So I'm proud of it. It's, it's a great feeling, one we haven't experienced. And, you know, obviously any of us sitting here, and it's been a while for, for SFA, but it's a tradition-rich program. There's been some great, great coaches and players that have played at SFA, so we're just happy to represent um, our university. It's, it's a special deal. Great. First question goes to Caleb. Caleb, you may uh, unmute your line, please. Hey, Coach. Congratulations. Just talk about a – what it means, so to speak, to get the monkey off your back, hearing from the fans how y'all hadn't won since 20, 2006, and not just you, but the program hasn't won the tournament for 15 years. What's that mean for you to finally get that win so that can go away? Yeah, I, yeah I'm tired of you guys asking. We don't look at it as a monkey on the back. These guys, we weren't a part of that. You know, I've had four opportunities and wasn't able to do that, you know, as the head coach here because we missed a year ago. So, you know, the monkey only was on the back because you keep bringing it up. Just kidding, Caleb. But everybody wants to talk about that one. Um, but Zaya's been here a year. I don't know. I mean, she hasn't even had an opportunity to play here, right, because we missed it. I don't know, only had one. So it's not like these guys. That's not a monkey on their back um, necessarily. It was just we've had opportunities. We let a couple of them slip away. But it happens to a lot of teams this time of year. It's March and it's difficult. And these are the best teams under, you know, I guess pressure is a privilege type atmosphere. And I don't know that we really felt that. But this team, I thought, deserves it. They've earned it. They've been fantastic all year long. And then I'm just glad they got to finish it off and polish it off today. Are there questions for the student athletes? Brandon, go ahead and unmute your line, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, first off, congratulations uh, to you, Coach Kellogg, and uh, to your student athletes. Uh, to your student athletes, uh, just describe the emotion that you're feeling right now. You're going to play in the NCAA tournament. Um, I don't, I don't know how to feel honestly. Um, I'm, I'm just glad that we got there. Uh, I feel like that, you know, everybody kind of counted us out. Um, so I think now is just our time to, to shine. And uh, I would just say uh, we just are all about intentions, and that's what we've been uh, focusing on all season. Oh, sorry, uh, we've just been focusing on being intentional on everything that we've done over the season, and uh, we made sure that we stay together and have faith in each other uh, and the coaches, and everyone played a part. So we're just uh, going to be prepared for what we have next. Next question from Hadari. Yes, congratulations, ladies. Um, Y'all both set the tone. Uh, Ayana with you inside, and is it Zaya? Did I say that right? Yeah. Zaya with you defensively. Tell us about your approach uh, to the game tonight. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my team felt comfortable out there and the coaches felt comfortable. And uh, having that role on the team um, is exciting and it's a challenge. And I believe that me and everyone else. Uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, defensively for me, I'm all about being aggressive. So, um, you know, I just take, you know, just take what the offense gives me and play my role on that, um, on the defensive end. Caleb, we're back to you. You may unmute your line. Hey, for both of us here, um, just talk about what it means getting to the national tournament. Uh, it's something that SFA's built a tradition on with the men lately, but the women have a strong tradition of going to the postseason. You know, what does it mean for y'all to be part of that tradition and lineage now? Um, it's very surreal. It's a blessing that, you know, we've worked for. Uh, and this is just a reward that all our work has, you know, earned. So, uh, yeah, of course, congrats to the men, but this is, a, you know, our time. I mean, yeah, like Nana said, um, honestly, like, you know, you just watch watch everybody else in the NCAA, NCAA tournament, like other women teams, and, you know, you always wish that you could be there. And I think now is just 
I mean, we're here, so we just got to go and compete. Brandon, we'll go back to you. I was uh, asking you uh, about you know, how they're going to feel, how they're gonna, how excited will they be tomorrow night uh, when they find out who they'll play in the first round? Uh, I wouldn't say excitement. I honestly don't care who we play. I just know that we need to go out and win and get past the first round because usually teams, you know, win the south line and just go, you know, participate, as Coach would say. But we don't want to be participants. We want to win. Yeah, I would say the same. It doesn't really matter what name is on the jersey. It's just about the heart that we have and all the progression that we've been into. It. So it doesn't really, we're just focused on, you know, putting the ball into it. We have time for one more question. If anybody's got one, otherwise I'll uh, let them go. Oh, sorry, Brandon, is, did you mean to put that back up too? Well, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, question uh, for you, Coach. Uh, just talk about what it means representing the South Lake Conference in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, well, now that we're not just representing ourselves, I think, you know, it, it goes to our university. Now you go with your Southland Conference, um, you know, for us is possibly exiting this too. I mean, I think it's, you know, we wanted to finish it and, and wanted to be the last team before on our way out, um, you know, to go represent this league. It's been really good to us for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're looking at a, at a pretty good seed. I don't know what exactly that's going to look like. Um, these kids will be excited tomorrow, though. They're probably downplaying that a little bit, but I know at six o'clock or whatever time that is and, SFA goes on that TV, they're going, there'll be some elation and, and some joy. And, and that's what I want. I want them to experience all of this. Um, I've never been at the Division One level. I've been to seven of them on the Division Two level. So there's a lot of us in that locker room that are going to get a first-time experience. And uh, from everything we know, it's, it's fantastic. So, yeah, we'll represent not only ourselves, the university, and now an entire conference. Hopefully we can represent them.